Hey, what's going on YouTube? Sneakertube.tv, uh, sneakerplay.com, um, Twitter, uh, Facebook. It's your man Air Jordan 14 back uh, with a new video. I got a couple uh, things in here recently, so I um, want to sh show you what I've gotten in, what I've been up to. So, um, man, let's jump right into it. Okay. Now. Now I'm going to start with this one. I'll start with this one. Now, this first shoe is uh, something came across, got a really good deal on it. Uh, so, hey, decided to roll with it. So, I'll hold that up so that you can see that. Yes, and it's a 13, but it's one of those things. I saw it and I had to... To roll with it, so eggplant foam one. All right, so there are a, a myriad of sneaker reviews on this shoe, and I'm certainly not going to sit here and do one. Okay, but you know, when, when these and, and the coppers came out, you know, it was kind of crazy in a lot of places and so I kind of wasn't really onto them like that but I mean at the price that I got them for I figured what the heck so all right it's a really really nice shoe um, the foam is, is kind of thinner of course than the originals but overall you know a very nice shoe like the uh, the eggplant on there uh, it's a very nice Colorway with the black and everything and with the clear soul, so it's very nice. So I'll let you just get a couple different views of the shoe. Hopefully the lighting in here is not what I would like it to be, so hopefully you, you are able to see the the one cent logo there. And I'll let you see a slide back so it can out. So you can see there's that clear soul that looks so good. And there you have it, eggplant foam one. Now, this next shoe um, is actually the shoe that kind of got me into sneakers. And, um, you know, those who know me know, you know, the whole story behind it and how really me getting this shoe is just what well, the first shoe I really, really wanted. And then it was just a matter of me just wanting to have. Uh, a different pair of shoes to wear to school every day and uh, had a pair uh, they actually tore it while I was shooting ball and this this is let you know how long ago it was this is when you could actually send shoes back to Nike and actually they would send you a new pair um, so I had to send them back and of course they didn't send me those back they sent me some Air Max of Temple 3.0 which I think I still have somewhere so I'll go ahead and, and show you what these are. I know they may not be a big deal to a lot of people. Let me just see that. Um, but to me, they have a lot of sentimental value. They mean a lot to me. So here you have it. <clears throat> The retro air bacons in the one of this black varsity red and what black metallic silver varsity red and really orange blaze okay we'll roll with it um I believe these came out in 97 or 98 originally Tim Hardaway rocked them I think Mitch Richmond did and some other people and uh, man this was a phenomenal basketball shoe to play in you could play in it even outdoors. Um, it was just a great shoe. Um, now, I'll actually give you a little background. Now, on these, as you can see, it has the Nike Air on the back, okay? Originally, um, it had Air written in a, a flame-type logo. There was a series of shoes. It was the Bacon. It was the Air Melt, and I think it was the Air BQ or something like that. Uh, it's kind of like this whole flame cooking barbecue thing. And um, 
it had air written in this flame logo, but apparently it, it looked like, uh, I want to say a lot or something like that. And so it created this big controversy and oh, we have to change the logo. It's madness. Anyway, um, so they changed the logo. So if you still have an original pair, which I think I still made somewhere, um, you can tell because it'll still have the uh, that original logo on there. And then the first uh, string of releases after that, they had put a patch and it just had a swoosh um, on the back. And then since then, subsequent releases have had the Nike Air right there. Um, and I'll close up so you can kind of see it um, right there on the tongue. But, yeah, this is kind of the shoe that started, not this colorway, because I actually had the, uh, the black. Uh, the the blue and the gray, which I have been looking for another original pair off and on for the past eight years. But um, so this is the Air Bacon. I really really like this shoe. A lot of people might not, but you know, it means a lot to me. So I was glad to to reacquire a little piece of my own personal sneaker history. So this is these are my two latest pickups. So. What I do is pan the camera back and allow you, hopefully, to see both of them. Slide them over here so you can see them. So, um, <clears throat> again, I want to thank everybody uh, as to close the lid on this uh, video. I <clears throat> thank everybody who's been, you know, watching the videos and everything, um, you know, commenting and all that good stuff. Um, subscribing and your support means a lot and I do appreciate it as uh, we're now over uh, 200 subscribers which still just it just blows me away to to think that uh, the channel is growing like that it's crazy to me but I do appreciate it um, you know the views and everything like that people taking the time out to uh, to view the video so again much respect to everyone who's taking the time out to do that it is so appreciated and uh, Continue to rate and comment and subscribe. Uh, like I say, I do try to answer back all the questions as quickly as I can. Uh, so, you know, anything, you know, I, I try to get back with you as quickly as possible. Just appreciate everybody who's watching. Um, continue to do so. Like I say, share the videos. Uh, it's much appreciated. And uh, this is Air Jordan 14 signing off. Wishing everyone peace, positivity, and I will catch you all later.